if you guys saw this, $4.7 trillion annual revenue lost due to poor customer experience. Who creates these customer service interactions? In most cases, the customer experience is created by our frontline employees. These brands are entrusting their reputation into the hands of teenagers and people that are just making minimum living wages in most cases. Doesn't it make sense that the people that we have should have a good experience at work? If you want a great customer experience, you have to have a great employee experience. You have to create an environment where employees feel valued, feel appreciated, feel loved. If you get that right, you're on your path to creating remarkable customer experience. Let me take you back to my very first job in the hotel business. I was a front office manager at a full service Marriott in Cincinnati, Ohio. I had a group of customer service rock stars, and I mean that. There was one individual that really stood out. Jason would come to work every day with this ridiculous amount of energy. And when Jason would come in, he would seek me out no matter where I was, and he would come up to me and he would give me this huge, gripping handshake, and he'd say, Ryan, thanks for coming in today. Every time, it made me feel like I was valued, like I mattered. I like feeling that way, and I think a lot of people like feeling that way. I want them to feel like they matter. I want employees to feel like they matter. Because I really believe that employees who feel like they matter are gonna make customers feel like they matter. The picture on the screen is the Marriott I referenced. I had an opportunity later in my career to be the general manager at this hotel. And when I came to that hotel, it was at the bottom of the list out of all 300 plus Marriott's when it used to be in the top 10. I made a point to show up each day, being present with the employees, telling them how much I appreciated that they were there that day, thanking them for coming in. And within a year, we increased customer satisfaction scores 20% and we were named one of the best places to work in Cincinnati. Now, I'm not sharing this to pat myself on the back. I'm sharing this because what I'm about to tell you is how I did it. I began to implement the employee experience principles I'm gonna share with you today. And it's so important to get that first day right. You gotta clearly communicate your expectations. Make it an experience for the employee that they wanna come back. Listen, I've seen it over and over throughout my career where customer service scores and profits have gone literally from the worst to the first. It's really, at the end of the day, it's just about taking care of people. When you do this, when you get this right, when you start to create environments where employees enjoy coming to work, where employees feel valued, you're gonna see immediate results. You're gonna see it in your reviews, you're gonna see it in your scores, and ultimately, you're gonna see it on your bottom line.